This one we just installed a new 50 gallon hot water heater and I had to replace my temperature pressure gauge. Well, when I get the thing back up and running, my pump would intermittently work. It had voltage, but the amp drive would go up and down, up and down. Got all the air out of the system. Still didn't want to work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a ECM pump on. High efficiency. It's a double O, double O B pump. Carry these on my truck. This one has the universal flange. You can get them with just the regular flange across here. Or you can get universal. I carry this one on the truck just because I can mount it anyway. So, let me take that ground floss out of here. And all it is, it's, I'm probably going to mount it like that. So my electrical will bolt right up. My electrical will be in the same spot then. Right here. Right there. So, I'll just mount it up where it's facing this way. That's what I like about the Universal. This does come with a check valve if needed. But this application we don't. So I'm going to keep that for a rainy day. And then the box comes with two flanges. Two flange gaskets. All right, well, let me get this in. With this pump, see the nuts sit right in that groove right there. Need one wrench to tighten it. That's it. You only have to have a backup. captures that nut and you don't need a backup wrench on the back side of it which is a good, good feature because it gets annoying trying to hold two wrenches two pairs of channel locks or however you do it we'll see and there we go nice and easy Her up, that's it. There she is. Let's do the electrical now. Okay, just like any pump. Got my electrical in there, wired it black and white together. And we'll put the cover back on. Nice little package. And let's get water back on it. Gonna have to bleed the system out. Dummy me wasn't paying attention to my arrows on my housing, so I had to take this thing apart. I had to flip it over. But check it out. Look at how small that impeller is. I mean, that's small. That's what does all the magic right there. That little tiny impeller. I mean, look at it compared to my fingers. 
All right, let me get this back together. Okay, we are finally up and running. I got a little air in the system still. I haven't got any bleeders in. But, uh, we'll have diagnostic light here. Now, if it's orange, it's normal running, red, you know, blinking. It gives you a kind of list in, in the manual on what it is. I'm not going to run through them now, but. As you can see, it's got some diagnostics to the pump, which is kind of cool. But that's it, up and running. Placed the air bleeder there. Brand new tank here. New temperature pressure valve. So we had our work cut out for us on this one. This one, the, the pump failed while I was on site. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe.